Welcome back. Today, Larry and I are visiting Richmond, Kentucky. It is a rather large peddler's mall. And we're gonna go inside for the first time and see what kind of vintage items that we can find. So you have to tell me the first thing I seen was this sifter and it was priced at $45. So I don't know, is that the going price? Because I, that's the first one I have seen and I'm not sure if that price is good or not. So I thought I would ask and hopefully if we go back and return, uh, it'll be there. Now, these cobalt blue dishes, baking dishes, guys, have you seen that color before? Because I haven't. That is the first time I have seen baking dishes in a cobalt blue. Now, these mason jars, you know, with the zinc lid, you can find those all over, and probably the going price is $7.95 to $9.99. That one looks fairly good. I didn't try to take the lid off or anything, but so let's just continue. This was a huge, huge store, and it took Larry and I about three to three and a half hours to walk through it. Now, we did enjoy it, but we were getting tired and we were getting hungry by the end of this outing but i'm only going to show you little bits and pieces this was some restaurant wear and how many of you have actually sat in a restaurant and been served in dishes like this in this booth i spotted these two threshold baskets so they're from target and they had 19.99 each on those and at first i put them in my cart and then I seen another booth that had two for the same price so my guess is Target maybe had a clearance sale on these so I'm not sure let me know if you think that was a good price but I did put them back and I didn't take it this booth here if you are in primitive style this booth is for you now I used to decorate with the primitive style in my last home and I do still have a place in my heart for it. However, uh, everything that was so dark and I had dark colors on the wall, like a, a caramel color and all of the dark furniture was a little bit too much. And, you know, I just sort of want to brighten it up. And that's when I started switching over to more of a farmhouse style, more white, light and airy but I still do have a place in my heart for the primitive de decor. In this next booth, guys, guess what's showing up everywhere? You'll probably find even some at Goodwill, but it's showing up at the Peddler's Malls now. And this was a Ray Dunn. A lot of people are asking for the price that they paid. Uh, if it's a hard to find piece, you'll find it uh, at a little bit more cost. And of course, lots of roosters here. You can find lots of rolling pins, roosters, uh, here in the Kentucky area. In this next booth, the uh, owner of this booth fixed up some mystery boxes, but I like to go back and look and see if I can find any ironstone amongst the dishes. But there was one item in this booth that sort of caught my eye, and it looked like a terracotta pot. However, when I turned it over, and this is very hard to do while trying to hold a camera and do it with one hand. It looks like somebody might have taken a pencil and wrote Spain on it. But they want it $17.99. I thought that was a bit pricey, but I don't know. I still love this vase. It's, I don't know, it's got that look. Was, I mean, there wasn't any chips on it or anything. And I sort of look at it now and wish I had got it 
and thought how pretty that would be back in my bathroom. I'm pointing out here this vintage set of that oil bottle because my grandmother had some glasses I remember drinking out of those type of glasses. And this is an iron stone in this booth. I found this piece, no chips, it was very heavy and it was for $19.99. But guys, with the prices at Goodwill anymore, I, you know, I sort of question if I was going to leave that. So you'll have to wait till the end to see what all I picked up. I will show you and try to show you how I style some of these items. So I try to get back in the booths as much as I can, you know, and look, there's some more Ray Dunn. Uh, there in that booth. You can see down the aisles just how massive this place is. In this booth, I had pushed up uh, the cart and my husband had moved the cart and he said, you know, I looked in the booth and came out and grabbed the cart and started walking. He said, I can't believe you're passing it up. And I'm like, what am I passing up? And there it was in all its glory, guys, sitting there on the floor. They did want $85 for that. And I did price some on, I think it was either Etsy or eBay that they were selling for $250. So I'll have to show you at the end what I picked up. Now these uh, copper dishes was very thick. I know they're very pricey, but if this is something you love to collect, that was an awesome set. They were heavy and all they, they wanted about 30 to $40 a piece for those. You would have to pretty much love those for life if you wanted to pick them up at that price. In this booth, don't blink or you'll miss it. And sometimes you have to step in these booths and really look around for a minute because there is so much dishes, so much glassware that, you know, it can be overwhelming. And sometimes you just want to skip over after watching these videos, after I get them home and start editing, I realize that, hey, I don't remember seeing that. And then it's like, I want to go back and get that. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be gone by the time I get back down there. But anyway, we did enjoy our day in Richmond, and we ate out at one of our favorite restaurants, and we just had a great day. Some more Ray Dunn popping up. To me, it was a little bit too pricey, although some of that was very, very pretty, and I could think of a million ways that I could decorate with those. But in this booth, guys, don't blink. You'll miss it. Let's go back. Guys, my words were this was the croc of all crocs. So this is a 30-gallon antique croc. Now, I didn't pull it out and turn it around. I wasn't gonna pay that kind of money. Probably isn't bad for that size, but you know, we were trying to think what could we do with it? We would maybe put it on our front porch with a tree in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have the space in my home for one this big, although I do love collecting some. I think a number 10 is the biggest one that I have. Larry found this plaid lunch box, and I think he was trying to open it to see if somebody left their lunch in it. I'm not sure, but he couldn't open it. <laughs> and anyway, they wanted $15.95. And I found some special items in this booth here. I'll show you at the end. I was happy to find them. And so I'm excited to show you what I picked up.
Guys, I think that Hoosier cabinet is just wonderful. I found this old ad, 1920s Hoosier cabinets. And if you look at the prices there at $42, I think $42.50, you could own one and you could get the deluxe model for $52.50. So how many of you remember that your grandmother or your mom owned one of these? In this next booth, this is the first time I've seen a crock with the lid on it, although it looks like somebody might have damaged it, moving it around, or maybe kicked it with a vacuum cleaner or something. But how sad was that? I think they wanted $125. So you probably could have turned it around, and I didn't really examine it. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to buy it that day. Hey, sweet friends, welcome back and welcome to my home. And I'm sure you're all anxious to see what I had picked up from the Peddler's Mall there in Richmond, Kentucky. So I'm anxious to share that with you. So a couple of the big items I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way uh, because one of them I'm gonna use to put the stuff back into. Uh, until I'm ready to use it for decorating. I did, I'm gonna share that with you. It's too heavy to pick up. And right here, I'm gonna share a picture. I did pick up that vintage fan. It does work. And Larry has a plug. He said it needs a new plug on the end. He's got a vintage one somewhere out in the shop, but the fan does work. I'm gonna clean it up and I will uh, probably put that out for spring and summer somewhere in my home. So I'm anxious to share that with you. The next big item is this beautiful basket. Oh, I did pay $85 for the fan. I did see some of those on, I think eBay, they were selling them for around $200, $250. So I was happy to find that and I can't wait to use that in my decorating. Another thing I found was this big basket. <laughs> and I did pay $25 for it. Nothing wrong with it. I love it, I love the size. I can use this for several things. I can stack quilts in them. I can put this in my laundry room. Uh, I could hang it on the wall. I have seen them hung on the wall and just a number of things that I can do with this. And I just love the size and I love the color of this. So I didn't see any problems with it. So I did go ahead and pick it up for $25. Some of you may think that that seems a little bit high, but uh, it might be. Uh, before we go on any further about what I picked up, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I have been working on my spring decor. You can see some of the mess behind me. Been trying to get that put together so I can bring some uh, decorating uh, videos uh, to you for the spring. According to YouTube time, I'm probably running late. I also hope that you guys are enjoying the home spotlights I'm bringing to you. 
uh, five spotlights a week. Uh, I have no video coming up on Sundays. My video comes out on Thursday if I have one, and the other five days are for home spotlights for the month of March and April. So I do hope that you're enjoying those. Now, I just want to make mention that you do not, you, you do not have to have an Instagram account. You do not have to have a YouTube channel. If you want to share your home with us, then just reach out to me in the description box below. There is my email. It's BeccaRoar2 at gmail.com. And I'll put that across the bottom of the screen here, but you can also find it in the description box if you want to reach out to me. So, you know, again, just reach out to me. I'll tell you what I'm looking for. And if it's something that you want to do and share your decorations in your home with us, uh, I will be happy to share that with everyone. Let's get on with some more items that I picked up. One of the things that I did get, and I'll try to make this quick because I know this video is getting a little long when you do the shop with me and uh, the haul, but I did pick up this early bird Ray Dunn mug, no chips, $5.99. I know that's probably the price that you would pay, but for the spring season, I thought it would be an ideal piece in my kitchen, so I went ahead and picked it up for the $5.99. Another item that I picked up, this was from, I seen this from the Pottery Barn, and it's already got the little bumper stickers on the bottom, so it doesn't scratch up furniture. It says, Pottery Barn, made in Italy, very heavy, very thick. It's got some of the distressed look on it, but I just love this piece. I love the color and I love everything about it. So I'm probably gonna put this in my kitchen or on my hutch. Another thing that I found was this old ladle. And this reminds me, I picked this one up. They wanted $10 for this dipper. And this reminds me of my great grandparents down by, they lived down by the Kentucky River and they had a spring house and you would step in this little spring house and there would be a dipper just like this hanging up on the wall and you could dip in that cool water. The water was always cold and cool and Anyway, I remember that as a child, and this reminded me of it, so I'm going to find a place for this in my kitchen. Some other items I found was these little cookie cutters. One is just in a circle, and the other one sort of looks like a three-leaf clover. can't really see it for the, the tag. They wanted $3.50 each for these vintage in the green handles, and I just thought those were adorable. So I'm gonna find a place for those in my kitchen, maybe on my hutch. Now you guys know that I'm looking for anything in strawberries, and uh, strawberry stuff is sorta of hard to find, but this was a vintage apron. I don't know if you can see it. And it's got the little ties. And uh, definitely for skinny little women. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they wanted a $9.95 for this little vintage apron. So I really liked it. And I love the strawberries on it. So I'm hoping to do something uh, with the strawberry stuff for the summer. I come across in one of the booths some of these tea towels. And what I like about them is, one, they were very, very cheap, $2 each, and they're very, very thick. Well, I have been looking for something that uh, my husband can use uh, in the bathroom, and it's in blue. And I wanted, you know, he goes through so many uh, towels, 
that I wanted to find something that would match in there, but something that he can use and just change, you know, ch I can change out on a regular basis. So these two were just alike. Two of those. One of these. And here's one in a, and I love the color of blue. It's sort of a muted blue. So these are just gonna be ideal for him to wash and wipe his hands. So I can just throw them in the laundry as needed. Another thing that I found was this little flyer sifter. It's so cute. It's got apples. Now I remember when everything apple in the kitchen, I think there was chickens uh, for a while. There was the Tuscan and then there was the, uh, I think the apples. Let's see, what else? What else am I missing that uh, that used to be really popular? But anyway, I thought these were cherries at first, but I think they're apples. It's got the little red handle, everything there. And it's it's got a little wear on the inside, but how adorable is that? They wanted $11.99 and I picked it up. I like it and I like the vintage look. So that'll be really pretty for this summer. On my hutch or in my kitchen. I did pick up a couple of platters. This one doesn't have any kind of markings, but I did like it. Just it, there, There's no chips to it or anything. So I really did like this for $5.99. Now, I don't think that's a vintage iron stone, but this one is. Yes, I did pick it up. I didn't leave it. This was the iron stone. It's J&G Meekin, and it's got something else stamped on it. Oh, J&G Meekin. Anyway, it's thick, heavy, no chips. Love it. I'm going to put that on my hutch with some of the others that I have collected. This is just a little star. You hang this on the wall and you unscrew the back and it will hang a quilt from the corner and you can hang that quilt up on the wall. This was attached to a quilt and that's what I'm gonna show you. Someone had handmade this and I'm pretty sure it was I don't think it was hand stitched, it was machine stitched, but the little blocks was hand stitched. And it's got each month, let's see, January, February, March, April, May, and June. July, August, September, October, November, and December. And you see that all just stitched with different colored thread. And it's done in a primitive check. So I'm going to put this in my office. I have that quilt rack that hangs up on the wall, this will be ideal. And in between the seasons, when I don't have something, I can put this one up. So I'm excited about getting that. And it was $16.99, and then it had this little uh, thing just stuck on the edge of it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that, but I am happy to get that quilt. A few other things I found, and I don't know that these are actually vintage, but what I loved about these spoons, they wanted, I think, a dollar each, and I picked up three. And the reason that I like these, I do love the shape of these. They're, they're round, they're not oblong, but what I loved about them was that they have been worn and used, and that's what I like about it. So I'm gonna put these in my kitchen or on my hutch.
in the one booth, I told you that had that Hoosier cabinet, that there were some special items in there that I had already picked up. And this was some, and this was, this one is called an industrial bobbin. And she had two in her booth and they were $3.95 each. So I picked up both of them. I've seen this little vintage wood. It says it's a wood utensil. Now, guys, you guys are gonna have to enlighten me what this was used for. So I'm not really sure. It just says wood utensil. I knew it was something vintage. So you guys let me know. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm not sure, but I picked it up. She had a bunch of these spools and they were about $2.95 each. And I picked up every one because I love them. I may put this in my sewing room slash office, or I may keep them out on my hutch. I'm not sure, but I was happy to find these and they all look really good. So, and one other thing that I found was this vintage wooden spool. And I've seen a lot of people use these as candlesticks. But I like that. And she had $4.99 on that one. In the booth that I told you, you know, you sometimes got to look up and get in there and look around. And guys, this is what I found. This is Roseville, Ohio. I love it. I don't see any chips. Those are just little indent marks all the way around it. Love the color. And they want it $24, so I went ahead and picked it up because I wanted it. And I know that, you know, some of you guys may think that the prices are a little bit steep, but if you, uh, I don't find this kind of stuff in our Goodwills at all. I no longer find any kind of iron stone, uh, any kind of vintage. I think they pull it and they're actually selling, some of them are selling it on Goodwill online. Uh, they have an eBay and, and they're pulling that kind of stuff. And anyway, their prices would probably be about the same. But I don't find this kind of stuff in Goodwill anymore. So I have just about quit shopping Goodwill and I hit the Peddler's Mall. And, you know, usually if we're out of town, I love to hit the little antique shops and see what I can find. And sometimes their prices are not much different than if you were going to find it online because I don't find it in Goodwill anymore. So I just quit looking uh, after so many visits and so much disappointment that, you know, that I went a different route on trying to find some of my vintage items. So guys, that's what I got uh, this time and I was happy to find a lot of this stuff. So I hope this video hasn't got too long for you. I uh, thank you for being here. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Rebecca and my husband and I are empty nesters in our home here in Kentucky. So I've got some spring videos coming up for you on decorating my home and then hopefully some more uh, vintage shopping this summer. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here and I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a great day and God bless.